Well, one of the most controversial border policies of the COVID-19 era is set to expire tonight. And as it comes to an end, migrates, migrants arriving at the U.S. southern border will find new rules, making it difficult for them to apply for asylum. ABC's Morgan Norwood reports from El Paso, Texas. Tonight, as the clock ticks down to midnight, all eyes on the U.S. southern border. As Title 42, that pandemic-era health policy allowing for the quick expulsion of millions of migrants expires. If anyone arrives at our southern border after midnight tonight, they will be presumed ineligible for asylum and subject to steeper consequences. Ahead of that deadline, hundreds at the border near El Paso, Texas, boarding Border Patrol buses and led away for processing. A similar story in Arizona, officials giving instructions to a long line of migrants. And this wave of migrants crossing the Rio Grande in Matamoros, Mexico, only to be met by Texas law enforcement on the other side. A family carrying a baby and a suitcase there just as determined to get to the U.S. as they are to flee what they left behind. ABC's Matt Rivers and Juarez talking with migrants about their journey. Estás intentando otra vez. So she's saying there basically that they were deported from Matamoros, which is further down the border. If we look this way, they're going to try again. But all of that changes once the clock strikes midnight, when most asylum applications in the U.S. will now require these two things. Non-Mexican migrants must apply for and be denied asylum in another country first. And migrants will need to schedule an appointment at a port of entry using a CBP app. Don't follow those rules and migrants almost certainly face deportation, unable to enter the U.S. for at least five years. More than 20,000 migrants now in U.S. Border Patrol custody, with some facilities over capacity. I cannot overstate the strain on our personnel uh, and our facilities. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, El Paso.